Hey guys, it's Nikki from TaylorMade Muscle Cars and Sean has the transmission ready to go in. Let's check it out. Remember to subscribe. Thanks. All right, so I got the transmission up and in place, but not slid into the clutch assembly. Um, used the transmission jack, got it up in the air, um, and then I strapped the transmission in place only to make it easier um, to video without having the transmission jack um, in the way. But uh, input shaft just about into the throttle bearing. Always a good idea to put a little bit of grease on the end before it goes in um, and it makes its way into the pilot bushing. Also a little bit of grease here. The throttle bearing rides on that. You can see it, it moves when you step on the clutch fork over here. That will move on this housing here of the input shaft. I think that's called input shaft bearing housing. There's a bearing in, in here. Um, and that's it. So I'm going to attempt to mate these two together. And, um, and we'll see how that goes. I have this jack underneath the motor. And it's got a little pressure underneath it without the transmission in place. Uh, the bell housing will will come down and it needs to be uh, in line with this in order to get your input shaft in through the clutch in the pilot bushing. All right, hold tight. Go up with the transmission jack a little bit. So, <laughs> got to come down a little bit, like to there, maybe. See what she does. Still, transmission's a little too high. And what I'm doing is coming down on the jack a little bit. And then trying to wrestle it in. Now that should be it going to get the four bolts in it and then jiggle it in there a little bit more and hopefully that's it <sighs> okay that's one started Backside. Once I get the bolt started, get some pressure off of the spline and, and the tranny, and just snug them up a little bit at a time, and then jiggle it in. And that's it. get a ratchet
and I'm going to lower the jack, get the pressure off, maybe get a couple more turns out of the top bolts. Pressure is off of the trans. Get rid of that thing. So now it's just a matter of snugging up the bolts and tricking one up top. I'm going to have to get the extension out and come from the back side. And that's it. So we will continue with the linkage, uh, the Hearst pistol grip uh, shifter linkage, and, uh, and I'll show you how to adjust the rods um, where they work the best. And uh, we'll put our dust cover on at the end. And uh, until next time.